the mail today, I got my uh, 600 watt pure sine wave inverter. I got one of these in a pure sign because that way when I'm charging my batteries, it doesn't wreck them. Watch out when you're buying these things, make sure they don't say modified and they say pure, depending on what you're running, of course. So that video is to come, Walt and Life of the Belsif. What I'm doing today is now, I'm going to see if Aaron is around, a Aaron, and pick up some manifolds he gave me for the old LS so I don't have to use the stupid ones I got with a big valve off the side, because we're gonna delete that. So I'm just waiting to see what's what. I am. But let's take a ride anyways. I might stop by Trevor's, I might stop by TJ's, I might stop by the old man's, or I might stop somewhere. So let's get rolling and we'll see where we end up. So I'm over here at AA Ron's and I'm here to get some manifold. He gave me some manifolds off of 5.3, so they're gonna be decent. That way I can delete this thing, what's it called? The EGR delete. EGR delete, I don't need that on the six liter. But this is the manifold I'm looking for. If anybody's got one, leave a comment down below. So what year is this off of? That would be 01 to 03. Oh, one to one to oh three. so. Fire burning command. Decent. Yeah, so it's got the throttle, it's got the linkage. See, we're all cable ran over here, but look at him. He's got this thing just going, he's got the aluminum brackets on it. Frank, it's ready to fire up. Almost. New uh, power steering pump. Yeah, so that's off of a Firebird. Firebird, yeah. cool. We got the LS1 water pump off the Firebird. Which he's gonna have to space out. Which, yeah, I need to put a spacer behind the water pump so yep. it sets it out. $45. $45. Yep. That's all that cost, Jim. But he didn't take his heads off like me. I'm gonna take mine off, but I guess I could just throw brake clean in him. And Bob's your uncle, so I gotta pick up some brake clean on the way home. Freaking right I do. But anyways, I'm gonna sit here and shoot the shit. I just wanna show you how he's come along with this. He ain't. And uh, I just wanna show you the intake I need. And there's his car, as you remember. Decent. Freaking right it is. Freaking, I'm just sitting here. Aaron's got regular nice headers and turbo headers. Freak. You gotta port them. I do. Huh? little port action, look at that. Look how rough that is. What's really going on? But hey, cheap is cheap. 300 bucks is 300 bucks. 300 bucks is 300 bucks. Just like 20 bucks is 20 bucks, Jim. Well, there we go. Thanks, Aaron, for uh, the manifolds. Exhaust manifolds, that is. Now at least we got uh, some manifolds with less holes in them. We'll clean up now. But he bought a set of headers like I showed you there. And they look pretty friggin' good. So I don't know, frig. Might have to pick them up because that looks like they'd flow a little better for sure. But the only thing I need to do now is pick up some brake clean and some wire wheels and a couple of uh, barbecue spray bombs. So I'm gonna roll here and hit the old Canadian McTire. Oh, I got my wire wheel, I've got my brake clean, I've got my high heat temperature paint, and I've got some 5.3 exhaust manifolds for free so we're gonna run home here and we'll see what happens all right so i got home and actually just hit this engine with a little bit of brake clean a little bit of emery cloth and they weren't as bad as i thought i thought they were super super dirty but it turns out that they're just really rough in there it's not a real smooth aluminum finish so it catches all the grime right but that was just with one coat of uh, uh brake clean Jim, and then of course they just emery cloth the top surface in this. So it's actually, they're not that bad. They're pretty clean actually. I'm not as worried as I was at first. If I pull the heads, I have to buy ARP studs because you can't reuse the studs and gaskets. I'm, I'm kind of on the fence with that right at this moment. I am gonna leave the knock sensors in. Trev told me to take them out, but I'm gonna leave them there just in case I wanna plug them in. They're there. So that way I don't have to buy another belly pan. I'm just gonna leave the knock sensors in it get a new set, put them in, leave the plug there in case we need them down the road, friggin' right. That's all I'm doing today. I did a little bit of running around today and it's not the other thing like you've seen. So I'm gonna stop here. I'm gonna get a little wire brush during the week sometime here so I can just finish wire brushing that, blowing it all out. It's nice thing about having an air compressor and a welder, you can get some stuff done. So I'm gonna finish cleaning that out, clean the valve covers off, maybe paint them up. I don't know yet, we'll have to see. Hopefully enjoy this video. Stay tuned for the next one, where I do, I can't tell you, top secret. But hopefully everyone's having a good day like I am, not doing anything I ain't doing. And until next time, you know what to do for now.